Hey guys, uh, this Bill, I wanted to uh, show you this camera that I've been experimenting with uh, over the last several several videos. The camera in particular, it's a, a Logitech C910 HD Pro webcam by Logitech. And uh, it it has uh, full zoom features. And if you've been following if you've been following my videos, you you know that it it really does. Uh, Mike, when I first got this camera, the camera is by the way mounted, and it's it, it, there you can see it better. First of all, the camera comes with a bracket on the back, and uh, that bracket kind of goes there, like that. And all you got to do to take it off is uh, take uh, that rubber thing off, then unscrew a bunch of screws. See the rubber thing is in there, and then you unscrew a bunch of screws, see, and then pry this off of this pretty ingenious little little apparatus, and then you can just basically take it off of this thing. It's kind of a weighted thing that where you can put it over the back of your your monitor. Well you don't need that and it just adds weight to the camera so I took it off. Mike, uh, when I first got this, let me explain. Uh, when I first got this camera I went down to Office Depot and, and paid retail for it. It was like 99 bucks. Amazon sells this thing for nine, uh, 67, 68, 69 dollars which is actually incredible. I know it's windy, but that's the way it is. When I first got this camera, this is my Celestron lens kit. Uh, I just took some of these stubby little lenses, you know, uh, and basically uh, I uh, let's see if you can see it. See, there's the lens. It's on flat glass. And I just took that lens, you know, this lens, and I just took black electrical tape and taped it right to the right to the top of the camera, and it worked. I mean, it really did work. But it's when you do that, it's hard to uh, change lenses. Um, and I wanted to experiment with the different lenses, and I wanted to see which ones worked and which ones didn't. Well. To make a long story short, my friend Mike is uh, in the machine shop business, and he he uh, he got uh, some prototypes made up. It's a really nice-looking mount, and uh, it's designed for the camera, and it goes right in there. And I put a piece of electrical tape. I don't know if you can see it, and uh, and basically uh, then put this cap on top, and basically it it, it fixes the uh, uh, the camera really nicely in the base. I mean, it's it's just a really fine uh, fine design. No, I'm not I'm not selling these things, and uh, uh, but they're. There is a machine shop, you know, that I think the machine shop's trying to, to get these things made up and uh, he might sell them through a store. I'm not involved in any of that. I'm not making no money on anything. This is just, I got one of the prototypes. As a matter of fact, Henning got one of the prototypes. We sent Henning one. Um, and, and I've been experimenting with it. But the bottom line is, right now, it is not available 
uh, for public consumption. It might be eventually, but not through me, that's for sure, so don't even try to ask. Uh, but we designed this thing for the Astrotech series of lenses. It's called Astrotech Pair a dig -em. Now what, what's unique about these lenses, if you look on the bottom line there, if I can get it to where it doesn't go out of focus, 60 degrees, 1.25 ED ice piece. It's a it's one of these ice piece, eyepieces that are designed for they're big. Uh, some of these larger eyepieces are designed like a 45 degrees, 50. This is a 60 degree, and we we designed this holder specifically for this this thing. As you can see, it just fits. See how it fits just right in there. Just see it. It fits right in there centered and then you tighten these uh, screws up see and uh, when you do then basically this lens is flat up against butt up against the camera lens so it's exactly centered and uh, and then when that is the case, you uh, tighten these four screws up and, and then basically see it clears, see the top and then you, uh, well you put it right into your camera on the 90 degree uh, diagonal and then basically uh, you, you plug the cable into the USB port. As soon as you plug it into the USB port, it, I, I didn't load any of the software uh, that came with this camera. I mean, I didn't load any of it. I just basically, and there is the camera, that's what it looks like. This is a new one in the box. I bought a spare. The, uh, when you plug it into your Windows PC, it will load a driver, I mean directly into Windows and the driver is uh, uh, a, 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 a Windows driver. And so it's loads this driver for Microsoft, or about 8 megabytes of driver. Uh, in another video I might show you how that driver works. But basically the driver just allows you to uh, have a standard video, a standard video uh, device, because it is a webcam, and then you can uh, hook it up to your favorite uh, capture program. I know it works with Video Studio. It'll work with any any program that uh, talks uh, to the drivers, and you can just then, uh, you know, capture it, do whatever you want to do with it, and you can see what I'm doing with it, and I'm trying to make some videos of the moon, and Jupiter, and Nebula. Now, what's unique about this particular design? I mean, the way I did it initially, it worked. You know, it worked fine. I I had it uh, taped to, to the lens, you know, and then but uh, you're restricted to one lens, and it's hard to exchange them. The way it's set up here, if you've been watching my videos, I've been putting it on pause. You know, I say I'll put it on pause. I'm I'm running the 25 millimeter lens, and I say, well, I want to put in a a 12. So then I'll pull out the 12, and I'll put it put it in there, and I'll tighten it up, and then I'll put it back on, and I'm using the 12. I can use standard lenses. Unfortunately, the only standard lenses I, I know that it'll work with are these these Astrotech lenses that are 60 degrees. I know you can buy these things for like 60 bucks a piece. So they're not terribly expensive, um, and they have a. If you watched my first example video, I was using the 5 and I was using the 
I was using the 25. Um, the 25, of course, gives you a, a broad picture of of the moon. You can't see the entire image of the moon because you're about half of the moon in one shot. And then when you put this 25 in, or the 5 in, then you can get in up close and personal. Now I have found out that one thing is uh, the zoom doesn't work very well with the 25 or the 12. I haven't tried it on the 8 yet, but I have on the 5. On the 5 I get 8 clicks of zoom, so it really works well on the 5. I haven't tried it on the 8. It's an 8. But on the 12 you only get about 3 clicks of zoom, and the same with the 25. There might be a way around that, I don't know. One other thing I've noticed, like when you're doing the moon, you start out with the 25, and then you go to the 12, or you go to the 18, the 15, the 12. Every time you go to a smaller number, it gets closer. Well, there's going to be a, a, a closeness where, you know, it just gets too close because the atmospherics are just a little bit too untidy for the, for the, for the video. Uh, the first time I did a video with this 5 was absolutely spectacular and I was able to actually zoom and I got closer than anything I could ever see ever. The second time I tried it I could uh, I could use it but it was just you know to sh a little shaky and then I put in the back in the 25 and it was as steady as a rock so in other words there is a but that's the advantage of this particular camera you you can use uh, by the way, Mike got this made up at a place in Wisconsin. Uh, but he, but, but 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 the thing is, there you can use these lenses. So you're you're like a regular astronomer picking and choosing your lenses for the uh, what you want to look at, which is really kind of neat. So when I'm doing my video and I can put it on pause and change lenses. Now let me tell you what I've tried. I've tried some of these lenses. Not, I haven't tried them real serious like, but uh, I know we'll work with some of them. It's just that, like for example, this, you would think this lens here, this is a Celestron 32 millimeter that came with the, uh, a real nice 32 millimeter uh, lens that came with that uh, telescope. Well, I mean, it, I can't get it to work. <laughs> with they'll all work with tunneling. See, but I I like to I like to use my video in high definition with no tunneling. Tunneling is that little black circle, you know. If you want to use this camera, uh, and I'm showing you this, anybody can go out and buy one of these cameras and and use electrical tape and tape it to the lens and it'll probably work just super great. You won't have the flexibility that I have, but I mean it'll work. Uh, and if you try to get it to work with this Celestron Pelosi 32 millimeter, you'll have, tun you'll have tunneling. It'll work, but you'll have tunneling. And I just don't like tunneling. Now, I think that the key, and maybe Mike and I just stumbled on it when we were experimenting and trying to get these things made up, is that these, the key, I think, are these 60 degree lenses. And we just happened to AstroTech, Paradigm, 24, got the, Mike had a whole set of these. He bought them because they were easy on his eyes for looking through the telescope. And we we started trying these, and they worked. I mean, they all worked. So we decided to get this uh, made up to this lens because they weren't that expensive. I have a I, I for example have a larger uh, lens. It's a 55 degree lens, but it's a and it's a three millimeter. It should even get me in tighter. I haven't had an opportunity to test it yet with the moon, but I will. Now the other thing that, that's neat about these lenses, these lenses should all work uh, with Barlow lenses. 
there's no reason why it shouldn't work at all. Uh, this is a Teleview uh, 2.5 Powermate Barlow. I could put that on that 25 and it'd probably work just like a champ. One of the downsides about using it with these larger lenses, I mean if you tried, if you tried to use it with a, like a stubby little lens like this, it, I mean it's just, you, you put it in there, I mean the, you know there's the lens that's up against it, you can't even it's designed for a big lens, okay. Now, that's not to say that you couldn't uh, take a Barlow and put the lens on a Barlow and then put it in, then you'd it'd be sticking out and then you'd be able to use it. But like I told you, we didn't design this uh, for any purpose other than our own private use. And uh, we sent Henning one, and Henning's going to be uh, trying this out as well. I know that he he has ordered a five, and and that'll get him real close. But he doesn't have a twenty-five. But he's pretty smart. He might be able to figure out a way to get these smaller lenses, uh, you know, to work. Because this is a really unique camera, and it is a ten megapixel cam camera. And if you've been looking at my videos, you can see that I have pretty. I've had pretty good luck with it on the moon. On Orion, I can actually see stars with it, see gas clouds. Uh, I'm pretty impressed all around. I've got a lot more testing to do. It doesn't, uh, you, you know, you know how these Logitechs, they come with a webcam software. and we didn't, I didn't load any of that. I just loaded the driver. And I've been using this with the driver. Uh, and with the driver I have all the controls. So all the controls, the zoom control, the brightness, the contrast, uh, all the controls that are with the camera are actually part of are part of the driver. And when you uh, load uh, your application, let's say you loaded this and then use you led uh, Video Studio to capture it. Well if you go to the you know properties uh, of the camera then you'd get that control there's all different ways you can use it I I, I use it in real time and uh, it works just fine and I like to be able to control it the most unique thing about it is the, the zoom the zoom with this five millimeter I got I got eight clicks of zoom guys I mean that's incredible with this uh, sixty dollar lens with a $66 camera that gives you a better resolution than uh, than any other camera I know of and all these cheap ones combined. So if you're into uh, you know astronomy telescopes and everything I encourage you to get a hold of one of these cameras and fiddle with it and see what you can do. Uh, I know with this bracket though I have a an incredible amount of flexibility and uh, but it is a bracket made for these uh, these lenses but it's really nice pretty nice okay that's it I just wanted to uh, the moon is uh, up tonight uh, and I should be able to uh, do another session and uh, by the way there is my mounted Zoomel focuser on my on my telescope. It uh, gives me uh, the flexibility of that see that cord, and then into the uh, JMI PC focus control, and then I take all of this stuff through that USB box and one cable and a a thirty a thirty six foot thirty six foot USB 2.0 extension cord and by by golly I'm controlling the entire shooting match from my uh, PC inside the house okay that's it I'm gonna get this video up I uh, hope it's useful and uh, I'll uh, let the, the barking dogs uh, 
bark us off. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Have a great uh, November. Pretty neat camera, guys.